little tip, why not just put in the whole thing? I mean, I really do like a lot of banana I'm in my I'm smoothie, if you know what I'm... Oh! <laughs> and we're on air. Good morning, America, and thanks for tuning in to Channel 4 and CSB News. Your top source for tomorrow's news today. My name is Mildred Jean Leibowitz, and this is my co-anchor, Chad. Tonight's top story is one that deeply saddened. With heavy hearts, we announce the passing <laughs> of the great star, Marilyn Monroe. Monroe was found dead in her home on August 5th, 1962, first by her housekeeper, followed by her psychiatrist, Ralph Grinson. The cause of death has yet to be revealed, but police are not ruling out foul play. Oh. This just in, Monroe's cause of death has been revealed as a barbiturate overdose. So, so sad. She was just 36 years old. Truly a tragedy, Chad. It is. Now we're gonna send things over to Miley Cyrus for today's weather. Miley? Hi, my name is Miley Cyrus, and I'm coming in like a wrecking ball with your weather forecast for today. The high today will be 28 degrees Celsius, but will feel like 31 with the humidex. And the low for today will be 13. These beautiful temperatures will be perfect for the Woodstock Music Festival that will go on for four days from the 15th to the 18th. This festival will include lots of musical talents like The Who, Jimi Hendrix, and Santana. It will also have lots of sex, drugs, and alcohol. So be safe, people. Oh, oh come on, thank you. breathtaking weather report. Now, on the same hippie train of thought, I spoke with a frequent flyer of the Summer of Love. I think we should cut to that, Mildred. Yes, cut to that footage. Frank, cut to that. I don't have all day. The footage, Frank! The footage! Not again! I'm here today with a frequent flyer of the Summer of Love to discuss the going-ons of this event. Now, would you care to tell me your name? Sunshine in the sea. Um, um, oh, okay, can you tell me what the Summer of Love is? It's a social phenomenon. I'm sorry, a what? A phenomenon. Uh, Alright, um, can you tell me how many people there are at the event? Um, like 14? Um, I might be 26. Well, I mean, you're, you're close. Our sources say there are at least a hundred thousand people in the event. Yeah, um, <laughs> so apparently other places in the world have had a similar event. Uh, do you know what there's what those places are? Uh, yeah, <laughs> Kansas, and Milwaukee, uh, North Dakota, and uh, maybe Peru. <laughs> I think you're forgetting the Canadians and, and the British. Uh, and, and then never mind. But let's just move on. Is there any particular reason why you're here for the summer of love? Oh, you know, uh, soccer scares me. Oh, maybe uh, you get a sound on that. But but what about the politics or the music? Mm, no one cares about politics. We just want to have a good time. Okay then, um, thank you for your time. Whatever. You heard it here first, Mildred. The Summer of Love is the hippie revolution. <laughs> so compelling interview, Chad. I, uh, I really appreciated how knowledgeable the interview subject was. My sentiments, exactly. Good. Let's keep things moving right along and send it over to Touchdown at the sports desk. Touchdown. Mildred. Guys! Last night, he was over here, and then he was over there, and then they were playing with pigskin! And someone got hurt. And then there was a field goal! Uh, touchdown? You're, you're gonna have to be more specific than that. Oh, okay. For all you folks at home, don't you fret. It's just one big old game of football. Last night, the Green Bay Packers dominated, defeating the Kansas Chiefs 
38 to 10, at the Memorial Field in Los Angeles, California. This was the first big battle between the AFL and the NFL. And with the action we saw last night, we hope there's more. All right, thank you very much, Touchdown. Now back to our regularly wait, scheduled... Wait, wait, I have more! You know you owe me! I got you stuff! Oh, oh, okay, Touchdown, you, you keep it going. No, no, Sesame Street was on last night! They wanted to create a television show that would master the um, addictive qualities of television. Touchdown for that absolutely touching report. It's just a TV show. However, it's that's not why I'm crying. Not all news here at MCSB is good news. There have been many influential African American civil rights workers emerging in the past few years, one of whom was Martin Luther King Jr. He used non-violent civil disobedience based on his Christian beliefs to support his cases, including the 1955 Montgomery bus boycott, started by the famous Rosa Parks. He was also known for his I Have a Dream speech during the March on Washington. He received the Nobel Peace Prize and organized the Selma and Montgomery marches. Unfortunately, he was assassinated on April 4, 1968, in Memphis, Tennessee. He was only 39 years old story tonight. I believe you spoke with some very interesting NASA people the other day. Yes, Chad, I sure did. I had the pleasure of speaking to an aerospace engineer from NASA itself. Incredible! About... Chad, we spoke about this. Cut me off one more time and it's back to Fox! I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. About this so-called space race that seems to be on everyone's minds. How about we cut to that footage, Frank? That's a good idea, Frank. Jean Leibowitz, and I'm here reporting live from the field with renowned aerospace engineer Chris Chaplin, who has joined me today to talk about some of the advances in the space program. Chris, thank you for being here. What can you tell me about the recent advances in the space program? Well, thank you for having me. In 1961, we started the Apollo program, and in 1962, John Glenn was the first man to orbit the Earth. But since then, we've had a few setbacks. Um, three men were killed on our first launch. It was set on fire, but we were starting to improve that. Also, since we started, we've had almost a 500% increase in our costs. So we're looking to lower that and stay in close as range as possible. Wow, very compelling. Thank you so much for being with me, Chris Chaplin. Back to you guys in the newsroom. have some exclusive footage of an interview I did with the first dog to return safely from orbit in outer space. Let's cut to that. Excuse me, miss, did we get an interview? Miss, miss, please, do you have a moment for the press? Please, please, excuse me, do you have a moment for the press? What was it like being in orbit? What did you experience in space? Miss, please, please, please. No, miss, please. All the news we have for tonight, folks. We'll leave you now with the 1962 Beatles classic, It's a Hard Day's Night. Remember, America, you stay glossy! I'm Chad. And I'm Mildred Jean Leibowitz. Tonight's words of wisdom. If it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, flush it down. Good night, America. We hope you tune in tomorrow. Just up to there, because it's a family show. Should I put this on too? Yeah, uh, yeah. Get yeah. some bottoms yeah. going. Yeah. That way we can at least film some of you. Why did you go in my closet? Because I ran out of flower print. <laughs> this isn't a flower print. It's kind of oh, flower print. <laughs> when you're ready. I can go. Mm -hmm. Okay.
All you folks at home worrying about that stupendous ball. <laughs> I think we should take out that line. I think so, because it messes me up so hard. Just go worrying about this super bowl. And like, oh, I'm still filming. I'm gonna go home with time, one guy.